Another benefit from dating multiple men is that you learn more about what you like and what you don't like. You learn more about what you like and what you don't like. Now, you're probably listening and thinking, I already know what I like. I already know what I don't want or whatever, right? And I'm here to tell you that you will really never know what you like and what you don't like until you have the experience. And I've said this multiple times and I've done like lectures and and all these things, you know, all over the place. And I always bring up this point about not knowing. And basically, what that means is that you have in your mind a, a certain picture of what you want and what you don't want, which is good. You know, you, you, you know, you have a certain frame of reference as to what you want and what you don't want, what you like, what you don't like. But the thing is, is that you're never going to really know what you like and what you don't like until you're actually in the experience. So what that means is, for example, you know, if I was, if somebody asked me, hey, have you been to that, um, you know, Chinese restaurant in China on such and such street, you know, and, it, and they would say, how does the food taste at that restaurant in China? in that street in China. Now, if I've never been to China and never been to that street, never been to that restaurant, if they ask me how the food is, I'm going to say, I don't know. And the reason why I say I don't know is because I don't, I've never been there. Since I've never been there, I don't know how the food is. I don't know if I like it or not. I don't know myself in that situation. So the same thing happens for when you're dealing with guys and when you're dating and when you're dating around. You know, you have an idea of maybe, you know, you're like, well, I maybe would like this Chinese food because I've, I've been to Chinese stores and, you know, around my way or whatever. But you, you know, you don't really know if you're going to really, you will never really know if you really like that Chinese food at that restaurant in China until you go to that restaurant in China on that street and eat the Chinese food. So the same thing when you're dating guys, it's like, yeah, you know, you're saying to yourself, oh, I want this and I want that and I want a guy to be like this and I want a guy to be like that. And then when you actually are in front of the guy talking to him, having a conversation uh, you know, he's holding your hand. He has his arm around you. He's doing this. He's doing that. Only then you will know if you like that from men. If you if you're dealing with a couple of guys, let's say, for example, you're going on a, a couple of dates. You went on four or five dates in the past week or two. And let's say each of those guys were trying to um, or let's say like four of the guys out of the five were trying to put their arm around you while y'all walked, right? And then you kind of like push your arm away or push his arm away. And then the other guy, he didn't really try to do that. And then you like that more. Now, before all that happened, you probably would have been like, oh yeah, you know, I watch romance movies and I like to see people walking and holding hands and doing all this other stuff. So you're like, I want that. You're like, I want that, that type of, that type of uh, intimate, you know, exchange and all this other stuff, right? But then when you actually are on the date and then the guy tries to hold your hand or put his arm around you and then you kind of move and you're just like, you're, you're saying to yourself, well, I noticed just now while dating these guys that I'm not too much into public displays of affection. But the thing is, you would have not known that until you actually had the date, or you're actually in the situation of dating these guys. So the thing is, is that now you're learning more about what you like and what you don't like through dating multiple men. You understand? Now, if you were dating one guy and let's say he touched you and, you know, you moved your, your hand, his hand away or whatever. You might assume, well, I, maybe I just don't like him. That's why you, you understand what I'm saying. You just didn't like him. That's why you moved his hand away. But then if you consistently see you're doing that, maybe it's something that you don't like as far as that, which could be the public displays of affection. And this can be, you know, flipped around anyway. It could be the, the opposite. It could be, you know, 
um, you like when guys kiss you and let's say like you're on a date and four of the guys didn't kiss you and that one guy did and you're like oh I love this public displays of affection but you didn't notice that until you were dating the guys and you realized that them not kissing you you know wasn't you know you thought it, it was kind of lame and then when that one guy kissed you out of the the one out of the five guys you thought it was awesome and you're like wow I, I just realized I really like pub- public displays of affection so what I'm saying is is that a, good, a benefit of you dating multiple men is that it will help you to learn more about what you like and what you don't like. This is very important because what it does is, is that let's say if you're trying to find one guy or want to be with one guy, it helps you understand yourself more and you understand yourself more through your dating experiences. So this is why it's 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 it's, it's a very you know, good benefit to, you know, dating multiple people, right? Now, another benefit is 